Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be back. I just got home from a trip to Miami. It was a very inspiring weekend and I can't wait to share what I did and learned this past weekend. I also came home to a bunch of fun goodies so I've got a few purchases that I made as well as some PR and I thought I would throw in a few of my travel essentials since I have been doing a bit more travel. So and if you're interested in seeing my haul video, learning a little bit about my Miami trip as well as a few little items that I think are important for travel, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, travel shoes. As I mentioned in the last video, I have been on the hunt for the most comfortable sneakers that are going to be good for my feet. And I did pick up three pairs of shoes. I have one more coming, but I ended up picking up these sort of retro sneakers. I got these at Madewell and these are New Balance. And these New Balance sneakers are really making a comeback. This reminds me of back in the day wearing something very similar to these. But you guys, these are so comfortable. They are $75, which is actually pretty reasonable for a sneaker that's going to be comfortable for your feet. I usually buy more athletic sneakers that can run up into $200 and such. So I was actually pleasantly surprised by how comfortable these sneakers are. And of course, I thought these were sort of cute because of course I love pink but they were so comfortable, like I put them on immediately comfortable. I walked all over Miami with these in the airport and such, and I did not get a single blister. So these little New Balance sneakers are a definite yes. I think they're really cute as well. They give you a little bit of lift. And I bought these in a seven and a half and I wear a seven, seven and a half. And then if I'm going to be picking up running shoes, I go up to an eight. So I picked these up in a seven and a half and they fit perfectly, almost a little bit big for the purposes of this. I'm just going to be walking on these. I'm not going to be running in these. So I may have been able to pick them up in a seven, but I think the seven and a half I think it's better to have just a little bit of room um, in your toe bed, especially if you're going to be on your feet all day long and walking. I feel like your feet kind of spread out a bit more. So I think the seven and a half was perfect. The next pair that I picked up and that I'm in love with are from On. As you guys know, I am a fan of the On sneakers. These are the Cloud Away and these are are in ivory and pearl. They come in some really fun colors, but I just wanted something neutral that will go with everything. They are super lightweight. These are meant to kind of be lifestyle sneakers that you can take with you and they're not going to be heavy that you can walk on them all day long. So comfortable. They have the kind of quick fast lacing here at the top so again you can kind of just slip in pull these on tighten them up as you need to and these are super comfortable i did pick these up in a seven and a half i almost sent them back for an eight because in my running shoes from on i wear an eight but for the purposes that i'm going to be wearing these shoes mostly for walking throughout Europe the seven and a half is going to be perfect and the last pair of shoes that I ordered that have not shown up are my Adidas Boost running shoes those are my preferred running shoes so that is specifically for like a workout um, but I don't always like to wear those 
for just walking as well. I like to kind of switch it up and rotate my shoes so that my feet stay happy. But these are the Cloud Away and you guys, they are really comfortable, easy slip-ons and I think they're gonna be perfect to take to Europe. Then I found the most adorable sandals that are actually comfortable. And this is a, from a brand that I'm not familiar with. These are Django and Juliet. And again, my mom's name was Juliet. So anytime I see that, I'm a little partial, but I just thought these were adorable because they are black, but they also have this cute little kind of platform on them with a little bit of that tan color. So I feel like it makes it a little bit more versatile. I can wear it with everything. And these are so comfortable. So again, slipped these right on, wore these throughout my Ami. And again, I'm not a super tall woman. <laughs> so I love having a bit of a lift in my sandals and sneakers. And these are just really cute with jeans. They're really cute with dresses. I just love them and they're actually comfortable. So I will list these below, but these are the Django and Juliet sandal and I just love them. Now I did pick up one more dress. My sister Susan was a little bit mean to me and said that I needed to wear more fitted dresses instead of these loose kind of dresses. So if you have siblings or sisters, you're going to totally understand that she shot down my dresses, made me second guess what I was taking. So I had to run out and find something that was a little bit more fitted and would get approval from her. I know, silly. Sibling rivalry lasts throughout, even in your 50s, you guys, it still happens. So I did find this really cute dress at Banana Republic. And let me see if I can show you. It's got a little ruffle at the end here. It is sleeveless. So it, was, so it looked professional enough, but it also had a little belt. So I could cinch the waist and it wouldn't look like a paper bag. And I actually picked it up in an extra small petite. So it did hit me a little bit above the knee, but not too much. And it was just really a cute little piece and I'm a little bit partial to the color black. And I just felt like this is a perfect little dress that you can take with you that's gonna look professional, but also just easy to slip on. And again, the bottom's just slightly ruffled. And this dress looked really cute with those sandals. So I wanted to mention that because I feel like this is a good travel piece. Now, Isabel, a subscriber, had told me be sure to bring some sweaters to bring with you. Like when you're in the conference or you go to restaurants, they really like to pipe up the AC and it'll be cold in the conference room as well as in restaurants. And she was right. I do remember that from living in New Orleans. I used to freeze at work all the time. It would be like so hot outside at lunchtime. But when we came in, but when we came inside and we were working, we'd be freezing at our desks. So I did find this really cute lightweight cardigan that I felt like was perfect because it wasn't going to be heavy. It's breathable. And this is from Sanctuary. And I just thought it was like a really cute piece. And I wore it with everything with shorts, two dresses, to just in the conference when I felt a little bit cold, I would just kind of put this on. So I wanted to share this piece because I think it is another perfect summer little cardigan to wear with sundresses, shorts, tees. It's just a really cute little cardigan. Now, as I'm getting ready for my next trip to Paris, in London. I've been watching some fun videos on YouTube and Erin Busby, who does like over 40 fashions, she has a pair of mother jeans that she says that everybody needs a pair, that it is the traveling sister pant of 
jeans because it looks great on everyone and I ended up picking up a pair of those and they just showed up and as you know I'm already a fan of Mother Jeans one of my absolute favorite brands and these are the Mother the Weekender Frey and in the wash teaming up so she was saying that Europeans don't necessarily like ripped up jeans, but these have a little bit of a flare. They are frayed at the end. There is no holes. It's a nice dark wash. And then at the back, it's just got the classic pocket on the back. And this is what the bottom of the jeans look like. Now I just tried them on. They are a bit long on me. I'm going to try them on with my sandals, but the overall fit, I can see why she likes them. They elongate the legs. And I'm wondering if I might be able to cut the ends just a little bit shorter for myself without ruining the jeans. So I will keep you posted on that, but these were waiting for me when I came home and I'm kind of excited about these jeans. Now, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of the color pink, kind of obsessed with it. And one of the handbags I got to take with me to Miami because I thought it screamed Miami was this cute bag from Louis Vuitton. This is the Bella bag and this is the color Magnolia. So this is one of my favorite handbags because it is a crossbody as well as you can just wear it with the handle here. It is a bucket bag and then it's got this really cute little coin bag on the side or you can place your keys in here whatever you like but I felt like this was the perfect Miami handbag to take with me it holds quite a bit in here but I just love the fact that it's a crossbody that's what I like to wear when I'm traveling I don't know if I would actually take this to Europe because of the fact that it is easy for pickpocketers to take with them but for my daily life this is one of my favorite bags and of course love the color pink. Now I do have a few perfumes to show you. A few of these are PR and one of them I had a fun experience at the Santa Maria Novella perfume shop. This was in the Ball Harbor shops in Miami. We went in there and had just a fabulous experience and I did pick up one of their beautiful perfumes as well as get some samples but we got the full experience while we were there. So I picked up the beautiful Angeli de Ferenz. This is a really soft, airy, fruity, floral. It was perfect for the weather in Miami. So I got this fragrance and I'm gonna do a full perfume dedicated video to some really great perfumes that I'm about to show you. So I'm just gonna quickly run through them. And Twisted Lily had sent me the new Ormond Jane. This is Irvinia. This is a new launch from Ormond Jane and this is all around the note of oak moss. So this is a beauty. A little heads up. Love it. But again, do a full review in a bit. Then Commodity sent me milk and as you guys know, I love the commodity fragrances. I love the whole concept of them. So they sent me milk and this is in the expressive scent space. And this one is not the light version or the bold. This is in the expressive scent space that is for me and for those around me. I'm in love with milk. If you have not smelled it, it's this really creamy, delicious fragrance. So I'll be sharing more about that. They also sent me mimosa and I have been on a bit of a mimosa kick. That is a note that I've just kind of fallen in love with, especially for this time of year. So I'm super excited to try that. And then I'm having a bit of a love affair with these Atelier de Fleurs from Chloe Line. And one that I had heard was amazing and I'm a huge fan of Magnolia. And this one is the Magnolia Alba and it popped up 
onto Nordstrom. It had not been available, so I snagged the little bottle of it and I'm not disappointed. This just smells like the South to me, like those beautiful magnolia trees, and it is just very fresh and light and truly a beautiful scent, perfect for this time of year. So I'm glad I scored this one. And again, I can't wait to share these perfumes, give you more in-depth reviews on them. So we've got a few really fun videos coming up. We've got Super Goop, we've got Perfume. So now I am home. I am so excited because I am going to focus on getting a bunch of fun content out before I leave in the middle of June. I've got so many goodies to share with you. Lots of fun dedicated videos coming up so stay tuned for that but I am back and I'm looking forward to connecting with you on a more regular basis. Thank you so much for all your patience and I hope you everybody is doing well and I will be back with another video soon.